hello guys welcome to my channel you are watching how to fix tech friends in this video i am going to show you how you can enable the secure boot option this is very straightforward video so let's begin first you need to restart your system you can hold shift and then restart or you can try other way go to start menu and then click on setting options then go to update and security options now on the left side you can see the recovery options this one click on that you will see the option restart under advanced startup click on restart now now you will see advanced options now you need to click on troubleshoot options then you again you need to click on advanced options here now you will see six options you need to click on this uefi firmware setting click on that now after choosing uefi firmware you will see the start button here you need to click on that and we are going to enter into bios click on restart you can see this option if i press f1 then i am going to get the information about my system if i press f2 then system diagnostic and f9 boot device options I am going to press F10 BIOS setup whatever option you are getting you need to click on the option which is BIOS setup now I am going to press F10 on my keyboard now enter your BIOS password if you enable that hit enter now after that you will see more options here in many system the other manufacturer of the laptop you can get the secure boot option under the security options but i am using sp laptop so you can see the my option is not available here you can see secure boot option is not available here now i am going to system configuration which is third option here you can see now you can see the boot options under the boot options we are going to enter into secure boot so a hit enter on your keyboard you can see the arrow key for expanding the options click on that and now you will see bunch of options here now you need to scroll down with your down arrow key and get the option which is secure boot in my case it is already enabled if you found this disabled then hit enter on that after selecting the option like this and you can choose the options whichever you want like this choose the options like this and hit enter after that choosing and you can see the options which is below right here app 10 save and exit now do the same thing press app 10 and save exit click on yes now you need to confirm whether you have enabled the secure boot options or not for confirming that you need to press window plus r button and then type ms info 32 like this hit enter scroll it down and get the option this is secure boot state in my case it is turned on you can see if you found this option off then try this method again and you can see how you can enable the secure boot options hope this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech